Oh my God. What's up guys, AdventureDex here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video getting the Jeep JL one step closer to being back on the trails. If you've been following the build, you would know that this 2019 JL was in a rear collision accident, leaving the seat belts locked. Thankfully, the airbags didn't deploy, but we need to solve the issue of getting the seat belts fixed. So in this episode, we're gonna tackle that and I'm gonna show you guys how to safely remove them. So I'm gonna grab the tools, you guys click that subscribe button and let's dive right in. So before we dive right in, let's talk about some of the tools that you're going to need to accomplish this job. You're going to need some impact wrenches. If you don't have those, you can use a breaker bar, which I'm going to show you how to use as well. You're going to need a T50 Torx bit, which one actually comes in the Jeep kit when you take off your doors and roof, so that's handy. You're also going to need a 14 millimeter and a 10 millimeter socket set. So these are the tools that you're going to need, and this is definitely a job that you could do DIY at home with some basic hand tools, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the first thing that you want to do is remove the terminals negative and positive off of the battery. That'll just give us the peace of mind that there's no current running through the system when we're unplugging wiring harnesses on the airbag and seatbelt system. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now and then we can disassemble the seatbelts. So as you can see guys, the seatbelts are locked because of the accident and no longer retract. So these are not going to be any useful to us and we're going to need to be able to send these off to get repaired. So to remove them, you want to pull off this plastic tab. And this is going to expose a 14 millimeter bolt, which we can remove with either a breaker bar or an impact wrench. To access the bottom part of the seat belt, there's three pieces of plastic trim that you're going to need to remove. This piece right here is going to pop right off and you can remove this little piece. Then this upper piece, again, you just want to pull on it firmly. It'll pop right off. That's the second piece. And then the last piece is this one on the bottom here, which you can pull away. And it is connected to the front, so you're going to need to come around and pull it off from the front and then remove it all. With the plastic trim removed, you now want to undo these two wiring harnesses. One is right here and one is there. They're both yellow. You're going to pull the tab, squeeze and pull them away from each other. We can now take off the seatbelt reel and the tensioner. You want to get your breaker bar with your T50 Torx bit and you're going to remove the two bolts that are holding on. I'm going to break them loose first. So I'm going to put this on. We're now going to use our impact drill to remove these two T50 bolts. So heading onto the rear seat belts, they're very similar. You're gonna pop this tab off the top and then you're gonna use your T50 to get it off. A pro tip is to always put the bolts back from where you got them so you don't ever lose them. The lower bolt is an 18 millimeter. To access the seatbelt reel, you want to remove this plastic trim in the back. I'm using a trim removal tool and I'm just going to pop off these pieces here to be able to access the bottom of the seatbelt. So I'm going to pull all this away. Just like the front seat belts, there's a T50 underneath that locks it down. Now that we got the seatbelt removed, we're gonna repeat the same step on the other side. After you've fully removed your seat belts, you want to go over to myairbags.com and what you want to do is you want to go on and enter your vehicle information, so Jeep, Wrangler, and put in the year, mine's a 2019, and then you want to click search. 
And then when it loads, you're going to see there's a few different options. If uh, your seat belts are locked, you want to go ahead and get the seat belt, seat belt repair done. You could also at the same time get the custom colors like I did. If your airbags have deployed, they also reset the modules. So that's great service as well. If your seat belts are totally fine, there's nothing wrong with them, you just want to go ahead and change the custom colors, you can go ahead and click on the custom colors and you'll see that uh, it's one working day. So extremely quick and there's a ton of different options. you got the red, blue, green, yellow, silver, and then some funky ones as well, American flag. There's a lot of different options you can look through and uh, you can find something that goes along with your theme. All you gotta do is just tell them how many seat belts you want doing. So you can do the, the front two if you want. You place your order, go over to your cart. And then of course, if you're a part of Team Adventure Decks, you can go ahead and type in the discount code Adventure Decks. Once it applies, you'll see there is a 15% discount. So you'll see that uh, you've saved money on your order. You can go ahead, proceed to checkout, and it'll take you to the next page where you're gonna fill out all of your information. And what's cool is when you put in your telephone number, they're gonna send you text message updates on when they've received the airbags, when they're fixed, and when they're shipped out. And when you go and check out, there's actually gonna be a label that's the, a shipping label that's emailed to you. You're gonna print that out, stick it on the box, and then you can carry it to any Walgreens, Dollar General, or FedEx store that's in your area. Drop it off, it's prepaid, they'll get it, and then they'll ship it right back to you via FedEx, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a sneak peek of what it looked like when they fixed my seatbelts. So it's been a few days and we just got the package back from myairbags.com and I am very excited to get this open because not only are the seatbelts repaired, they were also customized with a special surprise. So let's get it open and check them out. So check this out guys, this is all five seatbelts, the front two and the three for the rear. And not only did they repair all of the seatbelts so they fully retract, they also recharged the pretensioners and they're a custom orange color, which I ordered and I'm so excited to get these installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap them now. They were packaged very, very nicely, so nothing was damaged during shipping. And I'm gonna show you guys how to throw these in and what they look like. Reinstalling the new seat belts is just as easy as it was to remove them. There's three points of contact and I'm gonna show you how to throw them on right now in three easy steps. So the first thing I'm gonna do is reassemble the pretensioner. That's gonna go right here on the bottom, and that's gonna screw in with the same bolt that was attached to it, so that's easy enough. We're gonna screw this in with a T50 and bolt that down. Once you've got the pretensioner bolted down, I like to put this top loop up, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna prevent you from installing it twisted, so you're gonna make sure that the buckle is in the right direction, and you're also gonna make sure that all of the belt is actually in sync. Let me show you how. So once I put the top up, you'll see that the reel actually untwists itself and gets itself in the correct orientation so that it can be installed. So once I line this up, boom, we got a flat belt ready to go. Now I'm going to bolt down the reel with the OEM hardware that we undid when we uninstalled it. Now that everything is bolted down, we can remove this plastic retainer clip that's going to allow the seat belt to properly retract. The last step is to bolt down the top using a 14 millimeter socket. And just like that, we installed these brand new custom seat belts by myairbags.com. Don't forget to plug in the wiring harnesses back in. There's a big one for the reel and a smaller one 
for the pretensioner. Now we can put the plastic trim back on. It will clip into place. Installing the rear belt is actually slightly easier. You want to fit the tab in and then you want to bolt down. Just be careful not to drop this bolt because I spent about two hours trying to fish it out of the hole that's underneath. So don't make the same mistakes I made. So I'm going to screw this in now and then after this we'll screw in the top. The bottom loop is now going to go onto this tab with this 18 millimeter bolt. Now that it's in place, I'm going to go back and tighten all of these down. Don't forget to reinstall your battery terminals before you take your Jeep on a ride. So there you have it guys. That's an easy installation that you can do DIY at home with some basic hand tools and I love the way that these orange seat belts turned out. This is really setting off the theme with the orange accents on this silver JL build. And what a great way, if you have a Rubicon with red accents, imagine red seat belts, or even better, the new 4xE with the blue accents, blue seat belts would be awesome. I really love it. I'm gonna leave the link down below so you can go over there and check it out. And also, for Team Adventure Decks, I got you guys a discount code. So I'm gonna leave that below. If you wanna go over there, you can use the Adventure Decks discount code as well. So check out the surprise I was telling you guys about. They're actually custom printing logos onto the seatbelts themselves. So check this out. Adventure Decks branded seatbelts. How cool is that? If you're enjoying the Jeep build, be sure to smash that thumbs up rating because so much effort goes into making these videos. And if you have any comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear what you think about the new orange seatbelts and what I should be installing next on the JL build. Don't forget to join Team Adventure Decks to take advantage of all of the great content that's coming out. And as always, I'm Adventure Decks. Don't forget, keep on jeeping. <laughs>